Coach Lemon here on the practice screen getting warmed up before my round. I wanted to show you a chipping game that I use that has definitely helped improve my game. It also kind of fights the doldrums of how sitting there just hitting chip after chip after chip or putt after putt after putt can get really boring. I call it chipping like a champ. And what I do is I take three golf balls, I drop them down, and what I'll do is I'll chip three balls from one spot to, a, to the same pin, I'll go up, I'll putt them out, and I'll count my strokes. For each round, six is par. So if you get up and down with all three of them, you've made six, it's a par. I like to do six rounds, and six rounds adds up to 36. Now, once I've hit my three chip shots, then I go up and I put them all in. I'll start with the closest ball and put that in first, and then move to the farther ones, counting each of my strokes. Not quite. So this round, I scored a seven. And remember, par is six. So then I'll drop the same three balls down, pick a different spot to chip from in a different club in a different hole, and start the game round two. So that round I got six, so I made par. Each round I'll pick a different spot to chip from and a different pin location. I'll usually pick a different club as well. I want some hard ones and some easy ones. I want to give myself confidence, but also challenge myself. And this is what helps you get better with your chipping and putting. Another six. Totally liking these new shoes that I got from Fitville. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, the thing for me is I have super wide feet and I have a really tough time finding golf shoes that are wide enough. These are very comfortable. Uh, they're 6E, which is what I need for my big honking <laughs> fat feet and uh, super comfortable. So check it out. Like I said, put the link in the description below. Each round, I want to pick a different hole, location, and usually a different club. Definitely a different kind of shot. that round I got a seven. My favorite part about this drill is it mimics the actual way you're playing on the course because we're not just sitting there hitting like 40 putts in a row or hitting 50 chips. We're usually trying to get up and down from somewhere. I like using the three balls though because it gives you three opportunities to kind of get kind of hone in what your chip is doing and what the putts are doing and that way you can adjust as you're playing each round. Not only will I vary what 
pins I'm hitting to and what clubs I'm hitting, but I'll also vary the type of lies. Uh, this one's sitting down a little bit, so I'm gonna be hitting my 60 degree. It's kind of a downhill, so I'm gonna do a little bit more of a flop shot here. a great game to do when you've got a couple of your friends and you're just kind of goofing around. It kind of keeps you guys accountable, but you will be amazed how much this helps improve your short game. The more you do this game, the better. All right, my first round under par, that was a five. You can use this game and chip in from all over the place. You can use bunker shots, you can use like 30 yard, 40 yard, you can do chip shots, you can do lob shots. You can basically do any kind of shot that you wanna try. And hopefully this will help improve your short game. I hope you enjoyed this Lessons with Lemon. Please like, subscribe, put in the comments what you guys do when you're chipping around the green or games that you play with your buddies when you're working on your short game. Thanks for checking us out. Have a great day, cheers. It gives you real time. Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson to just sit here and chip and putt and chip and putt. Put yourself under a little pressure, 